BART. Um, you say China blew it. Yeah, remember that uh, movie, 1997 movie, Copland, where Robert De Niro tells uh, Sylvester Stallone, you blew it, you blew it, you had the opportunity. Well, you know, the Chinese regulators did the same thing. They, what they did is they said shareholders cannot sell stock for six months. And so when shareholders thought they might be able to sell stock this week, uh, other investors decided they were going to get out of the market and uh, the market went on a, on a tear downwards, as you say, down 10 percent for the week. And the circuit breakers that they have in place, uh, these are the bands, the price collars on uh, the markets, up or down, mm -hmm. uh, those things were, uh, they kicked in and stopped the trading, as you said, Melissa, only 29 minutes right. yesterday and uh, just a pause, uh, almost 7 percent, which is the kick in on uh, Monday's trading. So uh, they've really messed it up, I think, in, in China with a command and control uh, type of regulation over there. I completely agree with you on the point of the ban on selling. I mean, when that ban was issued six months ago, I had asked every single China watcher that came on our air, don't you think that's just going to create selling ahead of the anticipated lifting of the ban six months from now? And that's exactly what happened. But on the point of circuit breakers, this is the first time that they impose market-wide circuit breakers. And you make the point yourself in your piece on CNBC.com, which is posted right now, that in 1987 here, we had circuit breakers in place. And since then, they've been continuously, continually refined. I mean, isn't that the case in China? Why are we so apt to say that they blew it when this is the first time that they've imposed the circuit breakers? They recognize that they didn't work, and they dialed them back. Well, well, two things, and you got it exactly right. The reason we began circuit breakers was, uh, uh, you know, Black Monday in October 1987. They started to be implemented in, in 1989. But, uh, you know, we're not perfect. Uh, we've learned by being burned. Uh, the flash crash in uh, May of 2010. Uh, so the most recent time we recalibrated circuit breakers, both in the, the future space and the equities space, was 2012. And I think we got it right. So, for example, a 7 percent drop or rise in our markets will pause markets. But 7 percent in China halts trading for the entire day. So what's crazy to me is that they didn't calibrate them correctly, and I understand a learning curve, but what they've done since it messed up yesterday is they say there are no circuit breakers, uh, which is just crazy. It's like they're throwing things against the wall, uh, hoping something will stick. So don't get me wrong. I'm not saying we're perfect. Uh, we have the best markets in the world, but we're not perfect. And I get worried when I hear things like Chinatizing markets with a financial transaction tax that the uh, Chinese have proposed and some of the presidential candidates have in our country. By and large, we're the envy of the world, but we should be trying to ensure that we are ensuring investors are safe, not driving them away. Invest your money in the domestic Chinese stock market. Yeah, right. Who would want to trade there? You don't know what's going on. You don't know when you're going to be able to trade your stock, Brian. So I'm assuming then, Bart, that's a no. You would not invest your money in the domestic Chinese stock market. Brian, I was a government guy for 30 years. I don't have any money. Well said. I can say to that, Bart, thank you.